hey guys, this is serious. The world is in trouble. We've got to do something. Let's do something good today. Love first is about being nice to everybody. Love first is about being nice to people. Love first is all about being nice. Love first um, is about being nice to everyone. Love first is all about being kind to each other. Have you done something good today? I am so excited. We are here ready to get you involved at 1230 every day for one minute of love. I ask you, I'm challenging you, please participate in this amazing event, which is being kind. It's simply being kind to all the people we care about, helping a stranger, picking up after somebody, taking somebody for a walk, visiting a, a, a someone uh, at a nursing home, giving a phone call to a loved one, maybe sending a text, complimenting our teachers, helping our coworkers. Let's all be a part of this. It's a minute of love. One, two, three, zero. 12.30 every day, a minute of love. It's a minute of love. One, two, three, zero. 12.30 every day, a minute of love. Namal Education Foundation is the sponsoring body of the Namal College, Miyawali. The college was founded, it founded in 2008 by Mr. Imran Khan, who is the Prime Minister of Pakistan, who sought to empower the less privileged youth of Pakistan. Currently, 95% of the students at Namal are on financial aid, which is, a, which is a great thing. These students come from 55 districts of Pakistan, and by the year 2027, Namal aims to establish one of the largest educational institutions in the world, which will be known as Namal Knowledge City. Currently, Namal is offering three programs, namely Bachelors in Computer Science, Bachelors in Electrical Engineering, and Agribusiness, as you just saw. So how NAMUL is a unique project. 97 of the students are offered financial aid, which is a rare thing to happen in Pakistan. 53% of the graduates of 2017 acquired first class honors. 1,000 acres of land is owned by NAMUL itself. We have about 300 students who are currently studying at NAMUL. One to, 10, one to 10 is the teacher to student ratio, which again is a real thing to happen. We have 30 faculty members at NAMIL, 19 of who are PhD. Gra graduate employment rate is more than 90%, mashallah. Hi Londoner, my name is uh, Malik Yasser Awan. Uh, I'm one of the director uh, at uh, Naman Knowledge City Canada, which is actually uh, formed two years ago. It's a non-profit organization and it's uh, formed to support Naman Knowledge City Pakistan, which is a project of current Prime Minister Imran Khan. And he started this project in 2008 uh, to, uh, to have a, a university in a rural area and uh, to give uh, opportunity to the students who cannot afford to have uh, high quality education in uh, rural areas. So currently uh, there are three schools going on in Namal University and there are 301 students uh, currently studying at Namal University. 97% of them are on scholarship and um, in, in, uh, those students belong to a rural and tribal uh, areas and they belong to diff 50 different districts. Uh, so I'm here to invite you, uh, I am here to invite the people who love education, who love to support education, who love to support uh, students that uh, cannot afford to have high, uh, uh, high quality education. So I'm here to invite you guys, uh, uh, come help us uh, to promote education in Pakistan and uh, you can go to namalknowledgecity.com to learn more about no uh, Namal Knowledge City. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum everyone um, and thank you for that introduction, Aunty. So we're gathered here today to support the mission and the vision of Namal College and education as a whole. Um, at its core, what Namal is trying to achieve is equipping the youth of Boxan with the knowledge and skills they need to become active members of their society and to think critically for themselves. And in this goal, all we see is a desire for humans to help other humans. Namal University isn't like many others. It helps those who are least advantaged in society get an education that they wouldn't even dare to dream about. 
It emphasizes the idea that where you live and what social economic status your family comes from, school should not determine your ability to participate in society in a meaningful way. This exposure to education is what helps shape the minds of people, and one mindset can change the world. Education teaches people to rely on their own interpretations and contribute to dialogue as opposed to, me um, as opposed to merely just accepting conventional wisdom, but you should create your own truth. Whether it leads to building a business, getting involved in politics, or understanding the true meaning of the Quran. Education is crucial for teaching people how to make themselves not simply be made by others. We all know the potential that lies in Pakistan, but how do we help actualize this potential? We do this by supporting the youth within Pakistan, allowing them to have an education that inspires them to think critically about the world around them and to go and implement that radical change. That is how we can help. At the 2015 Oslo Summit on Education and Development, Pakistan was ranked as one of the worst performing in terms of education. And keeping this metric in mind, there's a population within it that's even more vulnerable, and that is girls. 32% of primary school age girls are out of school, and by the ninth grade, only 13% of girls are actually within the school system. This is not okay. As women, we are thankful for all the opportunities that we've had because of our education here in Canada, and how it has helped shape our future and giving us opportunities to be student council president or to get involved um, with clubs on campus. As a Pakistani community living abroad, it's vital for us to support institutions such as Namo College. And we wanted to end by thanking all of you for being here and believing in education and supporting opportunity within Pakistan. Thank you. My name is Emily. And I'm Kate. And we as youth can use our voice to change the world. Join us. fourth-year student of political science and philosophy here at King's at Western. Um, I'm the current student council president of the King's University College Students Council and I'm here supporting Novel College's fundraiser today um, at the membership dinner. So really what we are highlighting today is the importance of education um, not only in the Western world but also in, in Pakistan. So the current Prime Minister Imran Khan has started this amazing initiative of uh, the Namal Knowledge City where he hopes to uh, provide education to those who are least advantaged in Pakistan. Um, so myself and my friend Sana Yasser, we gave uh, a brief speech on why we think this is important and why it's important for Canadians who live abroad but we still identify with our roots in Pakistan to support these causes. Um, and one of them being that uh, women in Pakistan um, don't have the same access to education as we do here in Canada. Um, so really just highlighting the importance of giving education to not only everyone and those who are least advantaged but also to women and girls because we make up a large uh, membership of the population and it's important to educate all members within our societies, not just the boys. It's really, what NAML really stands for and what it stands for is education uh, for those who are least advantaged in Pakistan and creating positive radical change from that um, so that we can transform our societies to be something great and we want you to participate and join us in doing just that. Hello, my name is Sadia Hamid. I'm a family physician in London, Ontario, and I'm also an associate professor in the Department of Family Medicine at Western University. Today we're gathered here to fundraise for a university in Pakistan, uh, which is serving and educating people um, in a very um, underserviced and poor area in Pakistan. Um, the current Prime Minister uh, Imran Khan in Pakistan has made education a priority um, for, for its people. And one of uh, the, his initiatives is this university that aims to provide high level free education to people who would otherwise not have uh, an opportunity to, to higher education of any sort. So from that perspective, it's a great opportunity for us to support them. Um, as we know, in, in, in Pakistan, uh, the literacy rate is quite poor. Um, and we know that when people are educated, it has numerous effects on them. And, and again, this university serves both uh, males as well as females. So when people are educated or when they have higher education, it affects them in multiple ways. Well, number one, personally, it elevates their uh, self-awareness. It makes them um, aware of their rights, of their freedoms, um, and 
increases their agency to, to act for the greater good, to act for themselves. Socially, it, it helps them engage in dialogue, it helps them engage with different uh, with uh, politics and, and improves themselves as, as good citizens of the country. And of course, on a financial level, it, it helps provide them with jobs um, and prosperity and opens up different avenues for them to have a good life. So there's so much, there's so many benefits that education can provide them. And the fact that this is available for free to both men and women of Pakistan who would otherwise not have the opportunity to avail um, higher education is, is, I think, a great uh, reason and cause for us to support as, Pakistan, as Pakistani Canadians who are living in, in Canada and, and are so privileged here to be able to support this cause. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sana Yasser. I'm a first year student here at Western University and I'm studying health science. Um, I'm, my dad is Malik Yasser one and he's a big part of Namal College and spreading the word about Namal College and trying to support the education in Pakistan. My family's been really involved and the idea of getting um, education in Pakistan is very important for me because I'm very thankful to have education, especially as a girl. So living in Canada, um, Everyone around you is very fortunate, um, it's especially yourself. You don't really see these things as something that's really hard for someone else who doesn't live in Canada or any country that's able to afford these things. And so we, are, we take these things for granted um, and unfortunately people in like Pakistan don't have these things. So we should really look out for others and not, we see that not a lot of people have the ability to get education in Pakistan. So just being um, involved in this project and trying to promote education in Pakistan is very important. I feel like we really need to spread the word about that, especially for young people um, and especially because we here are so lucky and thankful. So we need to help others in Pakistan. Um, if you guys could please donate to Namo, um, just anything helps, even if it's a little bit. Also, if you guys could please become members, that's also grateful. And if you can't do that, even just spreading the word about Namo College and what we want to do in Pakistan really helps. So thank you.